Hey everybody, I was shocked to see that on Netflix, the five Twilight movies that from the Twilight Saga are in the top ten trending right now. Twilight being, the first one being number three. Um, and so I just wanted to talk to you about the surprise I had. Because I remember we had a Twilight a year from, I want to say 2000 eight or nine all the way through each year uh i'm checking to see when it released but twilight is trending and the first twilight film 2008 so we had 2008 2009 10 11 12. so what i think has led to the popularity resurfacing was when i went to these movies I felt like it was something different where you connected with the characters, the story, and their journey. Um, you had Edward and Bella, of course, in the first one met. And the Collins were just this mysterious family. And you didn't really know what their deal was right away. But then, of course, you find out pretty quickly they're vampires. And then Bella's life would be forever changed by going in. And then you had New Moon where Jacob was there for her. The clones were gone, and he was that friend that wanted things to go further, but eventually Bella decided that Edward was right for her, so she goes back to Edward, and you go through that series leading up to the big battle with Breaking Dawn Part 2, and the battle that never actually happened, but on screen, they showed it, and the, it showed that Carlisle would have died, but then everybody else would have gotten fired up and defeated the Volturi. So... Uh, at the time when I went to these films, it was just crazy. I remember, I think I saw the first one on the DVD, and that is how I was exposed to Paramore, and that's my favorite band. And I was like, who is this singing? And they're like, oh, Haley Williams, Paramore. Instantly fell in love, bought the Paramore album, so it introduced me to Paramore. So I want to hear from you guys. Leave a comment about something from the Twilight Saga that you still remember, or good memories you have. Or how does the, watching those make you feel? I want to rewatch them and give you my opinion if I still enjoy them after all this time. I remember the first Twilight film. I watched that thing like five or six times within like a month after it came out on DVD. And I absolutely loved it. And I'm I, Just right now, I want to rewatch it. Uh, New Moon was my least favorite of the films because... It was, it was rough for Bella was going through a hard time. And so it was just rough reading that. And then my, and then Eclipse I liked because it was more battle and more action-y. And it's funny because when I think back on Twilight, my favorite characters, Carlisle for being compassionate. Alice, always had a crush on her in the show or in the movies. Um, Jasper, because he had an interesting background. Emmett. Rosalie, at first she thought she was just stuck up and mean, but then you find out that she was she envied Bella because she wanted to be able to have kids but couldn't. So yeah, but I think when I went to these films, I remember it was on my birthday for Breaking Dawn Part One and Part Two, and I went after work and you know my family made my favorite meal. I ate. I went to the theater, the midnight launch of both of them, on my birthday, and uh, really just enjoyed. I've been to the premiere of Eclipse, Breaking Down Part 1 and Part 2. Really just enjoyed the films. They were giving away cars. You had screaming women everywhere. Everybody was going crazy for this stuff. And I've always been big into the pop culture stuff. So I wanted to see what the buzz was about. And actually, I did enjoy the films. I bought some t-shirts, some posters. I still probably have some t-shirts. And I know I have the t-shirts still. The posters I may have like taped to the wall and I might have had to throw them out. But... You know, but they definitely, my case originally was that they were just like time. They were big in the time, but they wouldn't be big later. Like Harry Potter, I was wrong. They're actually still pretty big. And Netflix has proven it with the amount of people watching them. So I would like to say that Twilight has held up. Uh, I'm going to rewatch them so I can actually see what I think of them now, as opposed to whenever it was big. And kind of see what goes on. But I would like to hear your comments. What was your favorite Twilight book? What was your favorite Twilight movie? Who are your favorite characters and why? Leave some comments down below. Give a big thumbs up. Like, subscribe, comment. I love to hear from you guys. Hope you're doing well out there. 
And I would like to say a few more things, and that is the Volturi were this mysterious kind of like law enforcement of these vampires. But in the end, they kind of let some things go because they found out they weren't being told the truth about um, the daughter of Edward and Bella, Renesme. And so that really was interesting. So I like how they handled the plots in the books and in the movies. If you haven't had the chance, they have the second short life of Brie Tanner. That was really good. She was one of the vampires that gets killed, and it was a fast-moving short book, but I enjoyed it. So, you know, I don't know if it, the characters were one of the reasons, because you had a lot of unique characters with unique powers. Alice could see into the future, which I thought was cool. Um, so, yeah, everybody had these different abilities. But um, I think it was the secondary characters. The supporting characters made the films much better. You had Charlie Swan, Charlie, who was awesome. You had Alice, Jasper, Carlisle, Esme, Andrew Kendrick's, Andrew Kendrick's character, who she probably became the biggest star out of all of this. Um, so yeah, leave your thoughts on the Twilight Saga. I'd love to hear from you guys. That's all I have for today. Take care.